My name is Lishante Missick. My name is Siobhan Nixon. My name is Ariana Grant. And my name is Chloe Tatum. My name is Lacey Barnes. Martina Berry. Aaron Farrington. Deandra Tala. Caitlin Bush. Carissa Ebanks. Nathan McCoy. Isaiah Robinson. Amy Thompson. Giovanni Ebanks. Priscilla, and I'm 28. Onasi Miller, 29 years old. Enrique McCoy, and I'm 19 years old. Alexandra Artuk, and I'm 21 years old. My name is Maya Scotchman, and I'm 20 years old. I was a 2007 recipient of the IMAX scholarship. I received funding from IMAC in 2011. In 2014. In 2009. Back in 2012. In 2008. I received funding back in 2015. I was awarded my scholarship in 2016. In 2016. In 2016. 2016. And in 2017. In 2017. I'm one of IMAC's 2018 scholarship fund recipient. In the year 2018. 2018. In 2018. 2018. Thanks to IMAC, I was able to pursue my bachelor's degree with a major in psychology and a minor in sociology at Acadia University in Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm studying psychology at the University of Plymouth in England. I studied my bachelor's degree in hospitality management at Portsmouth University. I'm studying film and TV production at the University of Bradford in Bradford, United Kingdom. I'm studying at the University of Birmingham in England. I'm doing business management with Markton. Kinesiology, which is human kinetics or movement science at the Pennsylvania State University. I studied business management at the University of South Florida. I'm currently studying public health at Baylor University in Waco, Texas. I attended the International American University of Medicine in St. Lucia. At Cardiff University in Wales and I'm doing a degree in computer science. I'm currently pursuing my bachelor's degree in actuarial science at the University of Essex in the United Kingdom. I studied in Ottawa, Canada at Carleton University and I pursued a Bachelor of Arts in Communication and Media Studies and Law. Communications with a concentration in public relations at the University of Texas at San Antonio. I studied economics and management at the University of Miami. I'm currently at the University of Surrey in England studying computer science. Indiana Wesleyan University. I'm a double major in social studies and education. I studied psychology at the University of Plymouth. I studied English literature at the University of East Anglia in Norwich, England. I've always had a passion for managing others and running my own business. I love education, I love the process of learning, and I really want to give back to my Caymanian society, and so that's why I wanted to go into teaching. I've always had a passion to help people, so I thought going into the medical field would be the best for me. I know that I can make an impact on the people in my community through my study of public health and improving the public health infrastructure here on the island. For my um, ACL, through that experience, I worked with orthopedic surgeons and physiotherapists. And through that whole experience is when I realized this is potentially an option that I really want to look into. I've always been particularly interested in the human mind and what motivates human behavior. So I thought studying human resources would be a great way to apply that practically to a career at home in Cayman. I kind of found myself um, being more and more intrigued into how to help people solve their technical problems. Throughout whatever you're going through that you may be having a bad day, there's a moment where someone can be happy and that's why I, I, I specifically chose comedy but even more so film and TV. Receiving the funding from IMAC meant everything. It was a difference between being able to go overseas to one of the top public universities in the U.S. or, or staying at home, um, I just wouldn't have been able to, to pursue the studies that I did. If I didn't get it, I was just sort of, sort of stay behind, um, work for a year, gain the funds, and then go off next year, reapply again. It was very demotivating to know that I was applying to other scholarships, yet no one really wanted to take interest in, my, in who I was as an applicant. It would have been much more difficult for me to attend and be able to have that good uni experience without having that financial strain on me the whole time. I still wasn't at the point uh, where I could apply for a government scholarship, and so I didn't know what to do. I'm the oldest of three girls that was raised by a single mom, and if I had not received funding from IMAC, my government scholarship would not have been enough. Growing up uh, relatively poor with my grandparents, college was not really a conversation, but education was stressed. I, I wouldn't have been able to go to university without receiving the IMAX scholarship. I was raised in a single parent household by my mother and sometimes we just didn't have it financially. I would like to take this opportunity to thank IMAX for believing in me. I feel truly honored to have been awarded the IMAX scholarship fund. I'm really appreciative of the opportunity IMAX gave me by giving me the scholarship. 
because it's put me in a much better place sort of to deal with my future now than I definitely would have been without it. It really boosted my confidence in terms of believing in myself and what I can achieve because so many other people did as well. I just want to say thank you to IMAC because of you, I am now able to gain the knowledge and experience that I need to build my career and hopefully come home and add value to our economy and society here in the Cayman Islands. Thank you, IMAC. 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 Thank you, IMAC, for believing in me. Thank you so much for everything that you've done and you continue to do in our community and helping young Caymanians pursue education locally and overseas. Thank you, IMAC.